Jesus and unstoppable. And so were the men who took them down. Frank Hamer and Manny Galt. A lot of people are familiar with Bonnie and Clyde, whether it's through the famous pictures or movies. They were the beginning of kind of criminal branding, if you will. So they were aware that they were popular. Bonnie Parker, she had 10 of them today. It's the fashion. But the fact that they killed innocent people and a lot of police officers was galling. Stick them up. Prior to the Bonnie and Clyde pursuit, Frank Hamer was already the most famous lawman in Texas. You know, I was the only male in my family on my father's side who wasn't named Frank. He believed on what was right and wrong. He was also unwavering. He wanted to stop dangerous people. And he didn't give his trust easily. This has gone far enough. I'm going to take them down. What a fine idea. And that's one thing that Manny had was his trust. Get in. Frank used Manny for undercover work for some period of time before Manny actually joined the Ranger Force. They were a very elite law organization with a, a long, long history dating all the way back to 1823. It was these old school Texas Rangers who had found themselves in a world that had passed them by, in a time that had passed them by. <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde would travel from state to state. Uh, as they committed crimes, they would leave the area where they were being looked for actively, go somewhere where they were not. When you looked at how Clyde, when he drove, and he always drove, he would cover 400, 450 miles a day and just keep going. So it was very hard to keep up with him. I think he knew that. It's like, I'm, I can drive further than anybody who's chasing me. The number one piece of technology that allowed them to continue their crime spree for so long was the automatic rifle. The average law enforcement officer at the time was carrying a 38 revolver, maybe a shotgun. Frank and Manny were seasoned law enforcement officers with decades of experience who knew that they had to adapt to the criminals that they were pursuing. There's an old saying in Texas, when the bad guys were at their worst, Frank Hamer was at his best. 